ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host, Hairsoft Al, and today we talk about NCR! Or at least in this case, the NCR loadout, and kind of my thoughts on the setup they have for their belt. Now, do know that, before I go forward, that the pan the correct pants came in, so I now have the proper pants for my NCR loadout. A full video of that will be coming very soon, as soon as the rain stops. I'll be going out, and I'll be filming it, with, of course, these two lovely things right here, and kind of giving a small update on the armor itself, or I might wait for the armor to come in to kind of do a full video on that, but either way though, let's talk about the belt. And before we get forward to it, here is what I based my loadout on. The Fallout 4 mod that actually showed a lot more detail on the actual gun belt, or, or just the utility belt in general that I'm calling. Yes, I'm calling it the utility belt. I watch a lot of Batman, okay? Anyway, so, the belt setup is actually somewhat kind of intuitive, or at least somewhat pretty good. I did take my own liberties with it in the fact of, hey, you know, they wouldn't just have one double stack 20 round magazine pouch, they probably have more pouches. The pistol and canteen placement was something I was a little bit somewhat okay with, not okay with, especially when I started going around with it or I started working on it. It was something I was not comfortable with, but I will get into that. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's break out the belt and talk about it. And here is the belt, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, this is a little bit different from the usual belt that I had set up. Originally, I had the canteen set up here, as well as the belt set up here with the, 20 round, with the Fox Tactical 20 round magazine pouches, but there's a reason for that, and I'm going to put it on to kind of give you that reason. Now, when actually wearing the belt itself, this is where I kind of had a little bit of issues. Now, with the pistol holster, which is an M12 holster, by the way, it was right here, the canteen here, both kind of resting right here on my, well my hips, more or less, or at least pointing downwards towards my junk. The pistol, of course, I had no issue with. I, I get why I want to have it here. Let's say you're riding a horse, you need to quickly kind of access your pistol. But me, I'm more used to, of course, the traditional draw of basically being able to draw my pistol out. That's where I've got this set up at because, again, this is more traditional. Now, when I had on here, both were kind of pushing the weight forward, which was definitely resting on my hip bone. Uh, later on, I've kind of had some soaring here because I'm not really used to, of course, just the weight itself and not having any sort of support suspenders holding it in place. Now, uh, the canteen when it was here was, again, very much so resting right here. It was kind of resting in there. And when I was sitting down, I had those weights kind of resting on my uh, private area here, or at least into the private area. Uh, and for those of you who do appendix carry, I got no issue with you guys appendix carrying. I just personally don't want to shoot my junk. I, I kind of don't want a barrel point at my junk, okay? I'm, I'm not like that, all right? To you guys, all to you. All to you. I will happily stick to my traditional draw uh, point. But I decided to go with, of course, putting two 20-round mag pouches right here so that way I could easily access them. It makes it a lot easier to access them, and I'm able to do that. Now... Originally, it was the pistol here, a 20 round mag pouch here, and nothing here. And then over here, it was the canteen, a utility pouch, and then some sort of gas mask bag pouch here, or something along those lines. Uh, for me, obviously, you can see I've decided to go with two 20 round mag pouches, one, uh, three 30 round mag pouch here, my first aid kit here, over here, my pistol holster, and of course, another three third round mag pouch here. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with the back here. I might go with a dump pouch. I might do that. I don't know yet. Still figuring that out. But this is currently the setup of this. And uh, again, I'm not, I'm not saying this is permanent. It may change in the future where I have the third round mag pouches here instead of the 20 round mag pouches. Again, that could change in the future. Now, the big thing I saw with the, when I was going around the con and kind of walking around the con, with the NCR's version, or at least the NCR setup of the pistol of their pistol belt here, was definitely something I can understand. It was lightweight. It was meant for a little less carry, but at the same time, didn't make a lot of sense to me personally. If you're patrolling the Mojave, if you're patrolling the Mojave, you want to have more ammo to be able to handle things, unless of course you know you're patrolling near another uh, outpost or something along those lines. I saw the ones with the Bandalores. Those Bandalores they have are actually uh, extra 20 round mag pouches, and 
Again, that's actually kind of cool. I might try to see if I can find those on Amazon or this reproduction of those because those were actual things during the Vietnam War where they held uh, extra 20 round magazines. But with the setup I have here, it's more traditional for me because I have more ammo, but at the same time, it's not over encumbering. I at least have ammo sensibly and I'm able to still, uh, you know, rock, block. I basically have ammo that is able to, you know, do that. Uh, but again, it's more along the lines of I'm more traditional in the sense of I set up my belts to where I know what I'm doing, what I'm dealing with. I'm more used to woodland play. I'm more used to where games are, you know, kind of hectic and where I can kind of, you know, handle it. With the Mojave, apparently it's more or less, you know, you might see combat, but you're not going to see like heavy combat unless, of course, you're on the front lines. Uh, you see this a lot with the NCR troopers that have. Uh, those bandalores on them that have more extra 20 round magazines or have more ammo for their for their guns for this it's it's more along the lines of I have this set up to my traditional sense to what I'm used to and that is why I have it set up like this but again I'm, I'm not saying it's 100% complete because again I've got this open spot right here with nothing in it and I'm and again I might have a dump pouch there I don't know yet I'm still messing with stuff, I'm still figuring stuff out. So, until then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this little video and kind of my thoughts on it, uh, on the NCR's setup, because again, it was definitely interesting to kind of talk about the setup they have, because again, it's, it's, it's interesting to look at an in-game loadout and see if it makes sense or not. Uh, for me personally, it, it, it does make a little sense, but at the same time, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and it does... It's interesting, is what I'm trying to say. It's it's fascinating. But, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I've been Airsoft Al. And if you enjoy what we do here, consider donating to the PayPal or the Cash App link down below. It's folks like you that actually make what we do here possible. And since YouTube has decided to demonetize us as of the filming of this video, then we are now a viewer-supported channel because a lot of this would not have been done without you, the viewer. In fact, a lot of what's behind us would not have been done without you, the viewer. So please consider donating to the PayPal and Cash App link down below if neither of you, if you don't have a PayPal or a, and you only have a Cash App. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Al, and I shall show you lovely, lovely people in the next video. Till next time. Later. Looking for that perfect game for your gaming console? Video Game Corner is the largest independently owned video gaming store in North Mississippi, located at 1519 Highway 72 in Corinth. We are an authorized limited run retail store and have a massive collection of retro games and game systems and also plush toys and collectibles. We also pay top dollar for your used video games. Check them out Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Visit Video Game Corner in Corinth.